Hello everyone and welcome. You guys probably already know that I've done several security camera reviews in the past and I'll put up links to those reviews in the corner so you can watch those videos after this one and decide for yourself which is the best camera for you. But it seems that every time I do a review of a new security camera, someone comments or contacts me and tells me that the camera that I just reviewed doesn't satisfy all their needs. Then they ask me which camera would I recommend for their situation. Now, I don't give recommendations willy-nilly. I prefer to do some research, then share my results with all of you so everyone can benefit. In an attempt to find the best camera for each of the conditions that you guys asked me about, I've chosen to take a look today at the A-Zone battery-operated camera 100% wireless security camera. I'll explain the conditions that you guys asked me about as I do the review. So let's unbox this puppy and see what I got. But before we do that, if you enjoy watching honest tool and product reviews, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you get notified every time I produce a new product or tool review video. Alright, so let's see what we have here. Here's a shot of the box for you so you can see exactly what I'm going to be talking about. And this was an Amazon purchase, link in description below. And this item retails for $79.99 at the making of this video. And currently, they have a $30 off coupon on their Amazon page so you can get extra savings when you go there. So let's unbox this bad boy and see what we get. Now this is not easy to unbox. It's really tight in there. And there you have it. You have the owner's manual that comes with it and multiple languages should be easy to use and warranty registration card a sticker to put on the outside of your home telling everybody you have security camera watching everything and one of the cool things is when you do the registration for the warranty you can get a free gift and that's one of the things that is going to come into play as i explain all this this camera does not come with a solar panel it has three ways of using it which i'll explain like i said as i go Battery operated, hardwired, or solar, but it doesn't bring the solar. But, as you can see there, when you open it up, this card is inside and telling you that when you register this product, you can get a free solar panel or a, a security light or a micro SD card for your camera. So you can choose what to get. If you want to use this camera in a solar operation, register the camera and get a free solar panel which I did, and here it is. So you get two unboxings in this video. Not just one, but two. And here is the free solar panel that I got with this camera. So there you go, comes with the mounting hard. Let me unpack all this and I'll come right back. Okay, so when you unbox all this, this is everything you get. Now, this is the camera set up over here. This is everything that comes in the camera package. This is everything that comes in the solar panel package over here. If you don't get the solar panel, you won't get any of this stuff here. So keep that in mind. I chose to go with the solar panel. If you don't want it, you don't need any of this stuff. You won't get any of this. You get to choose from the other two items that you can get for free. This is all at no additional cost whatsoever. So the camera itself, in that package, you get the camera itself, you get the mounting bracket, you get the hardware for the bracket, and you get the power cable for it. With the solar panel, you get the solar panel with the built-in cord to power up the camera, and you get the base, mounting bracket, and the hardware for all of that as well. So let me put this aside and we'll talk about the camera. Now this camera comes with a 10,400 milliamp hour rechargeable lithium ion battery already built in. You don't need to attach anything to it, it's already inside the camera. And like I said, I had several people contact me with several conditions that they wanted. Some of them didn't have any power for a camera, some of them it was uh, on the north side of the house where it would never get any light, and some of them wanted a nanny cam, so different things like that. This camera can work in all those different ways, in all those different functions. It is totally 100% wireless in every single way. You can see the two antennas. It is wireless as far as the Wi-Fi. The signal is wireless. And since it is battery operated, it is also 100% wireless. Let me put the antennas down to be able to show you. This is the little camera right here all by itself. And it is a tiny little camera. This camera basically is only four and a half inches in length three inches in height and two and a quarter inches 
in width. Really, really compact. I mean, there you go. Fits right in the palm of my hand. That is how small that camera actually is. So it has battery built right into the camera. Now, if you want to use this in an area where you have no sun any time of the day, no sun is available to power up a solar pa uh, panel, and you have no power outlet to it whatsoever, but you still want to be able to keep an eye on that area of your property, you can use the, the battery that's inside here, and all you do is you power it up, charge it up fully, and it will last up to six months. So all you need to do is recharge it manually every six months, twice a year. That's one way to do it. You can hardwire it in. It does have a little plug down here. You take the cable that comes with it or your own cable if you need something longer and hardwire it in if you can use it in an application where you have power available. If you don't have power available, but you do have sun, then you can get the solar panel like I just showed you and use that to power up. So there's three different options available to you. Solar power, battery power, or hardwired. That should be able to take care of just about anybody's needs out there. Now this camera is usable outdoors or indoors. So if you want something small and compact inside your house in a room somewhere, you can use this as a nanny cam interior surveillance cam, whatever it is, you can see it is motion activated. There's the motion sensor right there. And it is PIR. So it means it is not, doesn't go off for just about everything. It has human recognition. So it does go off when it senses a human body. And it does have two-way audio. So you can talk to whoever's on the other side of the camera. Very convenient if you want to talk to your kids, a baby, anything like that. Two-way audio, also usable for security on the outside of your property. And as you can see, it has little feet on it, little booties on it. So you can stand it up and it doesn't roll. It doesn't fall over. It doesn't anything. It stands up very conveniently on any surface whatsoever. Very, very easy indeed. But it has a little door that opens right here so you can charge it up. The microphone's on the front. Put the speakers down here so you can talk to anyone. And there is your mounting port. That way you can mount it up with the bracket that comes with it if you want to mount it outside. The convenience of it being 100% wireless, where you don't need to power it and you don't need to have a wire for the signal, that means you can mount it anywhere, whether it's on a fence, a post, a tree, uh, eaves of your house, uh, anywhere that you want to, as far away from anything as you need it to be. And also, very convenient, you can move it around. As your needs may change, you can move it around anywhere on your property that you need it to be. Now, this camera has 1080p, HD Wi-Fi signal, which allows it to be, like I said, 100% wireless. It works with the free app that you can use for either Android or iOS system, and you can set that up very, very easily. I'll show you how to do that later, but it's extremely simple. You can set it up for video storage on the cloud, which you have to pay for, or you can set it up with a free SD card, which, like I said, they will either give you one, or you can set up your own free SD card, no trouble at all, that way you pop the SD card right in here and you set it up to record everything without you having to pay any service at all. It has infrared night vision so you can see either day or night and it has a range of coverage of 120 degrees so it opens up quite wide. 120 degrees is standard for the industry and it has a viewing range of 20 meters or 66 feet. It is also IP65 waterproof so that means it can be outdoors, get wet, no problem whatsoever, it'll keep going. Has an operating range of minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, so you can have no trouble in just about any kind of climate out there. And you can also share this operation of the camera with friends and family, anyone, as long as you set up the account for it, you give them permission to access the footage, it is encrypted so no one can see it until you give them access to it. But you can share with friends, neighbors, anybody that wants to be able to keep an eye on your property. If you have husband and wife and you want to keep an eye on the baby while you're away, anything like that works perfectly well. So let's take a quick look at the solar panel. The solar panel itself, like you see, is a very simple solar panel. Comes already set up, ready to accept the mounting hardware that comes with the solar panel. And it's already pre-wired, so that means all you do is take this long wire hook it up onto the bottom of that camera, it's USB, and it should get it up and running in no time whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do, like it says in the instructions, 
What you need to do first is get this fully charged up. That way it is ready to be programmed and I'm going to set it up and then I'll come back and I'll show you exactly how to do that. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit about getting your camera set up. If you've done one of these before, it's super easy. You know exactly what to do. You'll breeze right through it. If you've never done one of these before, let me walk you right through it. It is super easy to do. Under five minutes, you should be all done and all set up. So what you do is have your camera and your phone with you. You're going to need both of these to get everything set up. Then pull out the owner's manual. Go open up in here right away and pull up the QR code that is in here. And you're going to select which one you want to scan, iOS or Android. Scan that. It'll start downloading the app onto your phone. Once that's complete, all you do is set up your account, name, password, all that kind of good stuff. It's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi password, so have that handy. You put in your Wi-Fi password into the account, everything will get set up instantly, no problem. It'll tell you to click a button when you're ready. You click the button, it'll show up a QR code on your phone. Then what you do is take your camera, point it at your phone so it can scan the QR code, and it'll beep, and that's it. You're done. That is how easy it is to get this set up. Then all the information transfers over to your camera. It is all set up on your Wi-Fi and you instantly start getting a picture so you can see everything that is there. So make sure point the camera different directions, make sure it's working properly and you're ready to go. Next thing to do is pick a place you want to install it and start installing it. So let's go do that. Okay guys, so go through first of all and select where you want to mount your camera, where you want to install it. I went through and I picked right here. I put an X so I knew what I was doing. And then all you do is put up your bracket, first of all, and then mark it with a pencil so you know exactly where you want the holes to go. Then pre-drill it so make it easier for the screws to penetrate the wood. This is a wood substrate that I'm dealing with here. But if you're dealing with masonry, it does bring these little hole um, plugs that you put into the holes. And that way you'll get a good grip inside any kind of masonry. So it does bring these. You don't need your own. But in a case like this where I'm drilling in wood, I don't need it. So anyway, what you do is take the bracket and then take a screw, put it right in there. That way it holds it for you and you don't need three hands. And I'm going to use a little electric screwdriver to make it easier to put it in. And if you don't have one of these, I did a review of this little screwdriver right here a little while ago. I'll put a link up in the corner and you can go watch that video later on if you need one. So what you do is take that, put the screwdriver right on there and start drilling it in, make it easier to go. Then all you do is line up the other three holes and you put the screws in there. This is why it's better to pre-drill it because it makes it so much easier to put it in. Then once you have it all securely attached, you come back with your camera and it has the mounting hole on the back. Just screw it on there. Just thread it on there and you should have it set up in no time. Then all you do is find the proper spot for you. Tighten up the bracket on the back and you're all set. There you go. That's a shot of the camera fully mounted. All you do now is put up your little antenna so you get a proper Wi-Fi signal and you're done. You're all set. Okay guys, so here we are looking at the backyard of my house and uh, during the daytime I have the camera set up as you already see already fully mounted as I showed you previously and we're looking at a daytime image in 1080p where I can see everything in my backyard very clearly, very sharp, very nice image. Keep in mind that the camera does not pan or zoom so you basically have to pick the optimal angle so you can see everything you want to see whenever you turn on the camera or when it's monitoring the given area. Okay guys, so here's some footage of the backyard of my house from the camera again. And now it's nighttime, as you can see on the counter up in the top left corner. And uh, this is being lit up by the uh, IR, the infrared. It has an infrared LED that lights it up for you, so you can get excellent night vision. So as you can see, it's very clear, even with no lighting out in the backyard, because the IR lights it up for you. So there you go. Okay guys, some final thoughts on the A-Zone battery-operated security camera. I think this is a great little camera for the price. It's very versatile and allows you to place it anywhere you want. It can be indoors, outdoors, hardwired, solar powered, battery operated. It is also very compact, easy to hide, so it's not obtrusive or stick out like a sore thumb. 
Very versatile indeed. Also, one thing I didn't mention earlier is that if you decide to run this camera battery operated because you don't have any sun or power near the location you want to use it, you don't have to worry about the battery running out and you not knowing about it. The phone app actually tells you the battery level and will alert you if the battery is low. So you know exactly when you need to go out and recharge it because you get constant monitoring of the battery usage through the app. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye bye for now.